Hi, I'm Jane Westman, your book marketing pro. I'm here today with Sarah Kelly, our social media expert. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hi, Jane. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. You know, one of the things that Sarah and I are going to talk about today is one of the biggest changes in how you can promote your book as an author, and that's social media. So I wanted to ask Sarah what she sees as the three biggest misconceptions that authors have about how to use social media to promote their books. Number one, that your social media campaign is going to be just about selling the book with messaging over and over again that says, buy my book, here's my book, buy my book. Nothing could be further than from the truth in that it, it really has to be a much broader campaign. Have you really come across this where they post on LinkedIn over and over again or on Twitter or, or Facebook, buy my book, buy my book, buy my book? Most authors are really unaware of the amount of content that's needed to create a campaign and that it's much broader than simply a call to action to get on Amazon and, and buy the book. It's the author is the brand, not the book. And so then this second misconception I'm going to guess is kind of connected to that, that authors aren't in it for the long run. And if you're in it for the long run, you have to tell people something about yourself. Is that, is that correct? Readers, potential readers are going to want a lot more than just here's the cover of the book, here's me talking about the book. They want to know about the author. Where is the author in in real time? How, do, how does the author feel about various relevant events that perhaps tie in with their title? Give me one or, one or two concrete examples of what you mean uh, by a post that tells us something about the author that's more than just, you know, go out there and buy my book. Uh, I have a fiction author I work with who's lovely and has written a beautiful book. One of the posts that has received the most engagement and the most click-throughs to Amazon is a picture of her with her cat looking at the book and commenting, I'm just so thrilled by all the support I've received from everyone on social media and, and in the press. And this is just great. I'm thrilled. And it's a lovely picture. Her cat's relatively interested in the book. And uh, it's, it's just, I think it's a peek behind the curtain. What do you think the third biggest misconception is that authors have about how to market their books on social media? I'd say the third misconception really is about pr a promotion budget. You must promote your posts on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn if you can, especially for a nonfiction book, in order to reach people beyond your core following. Uh, even if you have 20,000 followers on Facebook already, those are people who are going to go out and buy your book anyway. They, they know who you are. They're really excited, whatever. But if you want to go beyond your initial base, you have to pay these social media companies money for them to show your post to more people. That makes a lot of sense, uh, certainly based on my experiences with my own social media and the work that you and I have done together to promote um, our clients' books. So- a quick recap is one, it's you, the author has to be in it for the long run. A couple of posts over a short period of time that you know are direct sales pitches by my book don't work. Two, if you're in it for the long run, then you need to share something about yourself, you, something a little bit personal, something about your opinions, something that will grab uh, your followers and get them interested in who you are and what you're thinking. And then the third part is you do need to have some uh, promotional budget. You, you need to promote your posts on social media if you wish them, if you wish the social media sites to show your uh, posts to as many people as possible. Thank you, Jane. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.